So a two segment match together, investing and marketing and then trading. Okay. So investing and marketing and then trading. Of course, uh, there's a voice note I dropped, which was like I broken down a lot of things. Uh, we'll talk about investing and the diverse way of investing and all the like. Uh, so I'll talk about that vis-a-vis -vis marketing and so which has to do with leverage. And of course, I'm going to, if you are new and you probably don't even know how to place a trade, I'm going to experiment that both on the crypto futures spot and then even how to buy stocks and then the the forex as it were. So just an example. So all right. So we have always tell you that um, when it has to do with um, business, involve one or two level of risk. And the best is how to actually uh, maximize or manage your risk. We talk about diversifying, all right? We talk about diversifying. We talked about um, uh, take profits, you know, that you can cover initial capital. We talk about spreading profits into different potential yield. And uh, of course, preserving money into some stable coins for markets and all the like okay so we've talked so many things about how to manage your risk then ask act with speed especially when it comes to farming staking and new opportunities and of course we equally said you should build confidence right for the past knowledge because you know so much of whatever thing you think you know before all right so now quickly let's look at it Investing. So we have investing in different dimensions, which I mentioned. Uh, the oldest type of investment is actually stock. And then we talk about uh, other markets. So stock is one aspect of the financial market, which has to do with um, equity of companies. And you have the local, you have the international stock and all the like that you actually uh, look into in why you are investing. Okay. So... Um, I'll just give a highlight because we have a lot of persons who uh we have a lot of people who their level of understanding is still more uh domesticated. All right. So what do I mean by domesticated? They they think more when you talk about investing, they think more of what they are used to, the norms. Okay. The norms they are used to, and that's that's one of the things. So we talk about investing to people now. In Nigeria, for instance, so they talk more of uh, stock markets, like, and if you talk to people in America, none of that, not much about stock markets and all the like. Now, if you start from all of these things, these are great companies, uh, of course, with their equity, Apple leading the uh, the page with the capital worth, uh, total capitalization about $3.5 trillion, you know, presently, followed by Microsoft and then Vida. Then we talk about Google, so Amazon, so then Audi, then before you talk about Facebook. Now, you will look at all of these things uh, by capital, so 1.4 trillion, before you talk of even Tesla and other companies with their market cap as a lot. Now, so when you are looking at investing, we have talked about investing has to do with long-term visibility or maturity, as it were. Now, many persons want to look at, okay, I want to invest in stock market. The question you ask yourself is that how much money do you have? Okay, so how much money do you have that you want to invest in the stock market? And there are other factors we check in investing into stock market. That doesn't mean that um, you cannot invest in stock market, but it's just to let you know that um, when it has to do with opportunity uh, around stock, um, there are a whole lot of things you will need to consider or put into considerations and all of that. Okay. So well, quite unfortunately, a lot of people, when you tell them about opportunity, uh, they want to play safe. Okay. Then when we talk about investing again, so commodity and all that, then we'll come to crypto. Okay. So we'll talk about crypto. So if you come to crypto and you look at annual return on crypto, uh activities look at in this this is we have just entered the month of october now let's look at the comparing the crypto as an investor who just buy and hold uh what will have been your percentage growth all right in so in the month of january so the month of february you have a very powerful growth for bitcoin 
right? You have a very powerful growth for Bitcoin in the month of January, uh, February, which rise to about 43%. That means if you invest in Bitcoin, beginning of February, until the end of February, you have 45%, uh, 43 point something percent uh, income. Then you have the month of March, 16%. The month of April was poor, 14% drop. And then the month of May, we have 11% growth. So June, then we have July. July didn't perform well. So September had performed more than July and all of that. So that's to say, uh, on the average, if you are invested, uh, that means uh, because of some level of growth, we have not finished this year. So then you look at it in 2023, if you are invested in Bitcoin from January and just there, to the close of the year, you have done 108%. Okay? Now, if you invest in 2022 in Bitcoin, so at the end of the year, you have lost about 83% of your uh, value in dollar or fiat, as it were. Okay? So these are just like, you know, ways. So if you look back in 2013, so about 840% in a day in a year, and then we have 2017. Okay? So these are, so then we have 2020, which was like top of the roof, 174%, 76%. Then we have pre top of the roof in 2016, 93%. Then on the top of the roof, that is the all time high, 2017, give us 331, right? Then on the top, so 20, um, the 2013 top of the roof, so the pre-entry to it was 119 and 840 after that. So this, we have 108. So maybe at the close of uh, this year and entering to next year, we could have a very big percentage. So that means we have this October, this October, November, and December is very, very critical or crucial for Bitcoin. So as an investor, you're looking at all this performance. Now, I'm not saying uh, you want to buy Bitcoin now. I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you an uh, opportunity in investing. So, and I'm going to go different aspect. Now, talking about stock, like many of you in Nigeria, you thought you cannot buy stock. You can still buy stock. We have different applications that you can use to buy stock. Okay. Um, we have different platforms. Okay. I thought I was going to log in here. Let me, just a moment. Let me try to find a login. Okay, so now, so talking about investing, so I told you that when you talk about investing, investing has to be measured with time. So you have long term, you have mid term, and you have short term. And I've told you short term investing is one year. So all this one you invest, and then the following month you are looking for where and there. So that should teach you something about when you buy a coin and then you just going down and start shouting. No, investing is one year, uh, lowest. Uh, short-term investing is one year, and that's what we call it the annual return. So investing is about return, and that's why you need to learn basics. And if you can allow, uh, if you can allow the what's the call? Uh, if you can allow the um, activities, if you can allow the activities to help you uh, manage or investing to help you to manage your crypto, you will do well eventually. Now, just in this an example. So this is a platform, for instance. If you know, if I want to invest in stock, but that's not what I want to bring here. Now, looking at investing here, so we have called something called money market, uh, mutual fund. Sorry, okay, this account was not verified yet or something. Okay, we have what they call uh, mutual fund. We have savings. Okay, these are different form of investing. We have saving. We have all of these. I'm just showing you and why you need to, you know, to do your crypto with, you know, re reputation and rest of mind. Because if you go back to all of those conventional 
Uh, the people are still happy jubilating and celebrating how much they make. So how much more you than crypto that can deliver good percentage for you? So you have to take it lightly. So now look at this to invest, um, say create a plan or flex, maybe just to create a savings and make some percentage on it. I'm just showing you different examples. Then we have this like up to locked. So if I want to create a savings, so for instance, um, those please provide more information and all of that. Okay, I think this is a new account. Then in dollar, the same thing, right? That I would ask you, and then there's a percentage. Uh, then you have opt lock in dollar and all of that. Then invest just like the mutual fund I said. Okay, all right. I thought this account was a verified account. Okay. Okay. So you have different options in just like to let you know uh, that. Come on that many of us are struggling and do not understand what it means to be an investor. And so if you have a very better understanding like this and coming into crypto, you will do your crypto very well and then you'll be able to build wealth, all right? You'll be able to build wealth more than the way, you know, some of us are going about, you know, crypto stuff and all of that. So you can settle down and practically look at yourself, okay, I need to take it gradual one step at a time. So this is just an aspect. We have different platform for um, investing on stock and all of those, both foreign and you know, foreign and local commodities and all of that. So now the next is you have op opportunity in the crypto you have seen like annual return. So annual return people celebrate on stocks or commodities and all of that. So you can imagine if I we would tell most of us that, uh, sorry, let me just bring up this. Oh, uh, get all this. All right. Sorry, come in. Bitcoin, where are you? Okay. Okay, sorry. Where are you? Who are, are you? Okay, so now going to crypto proper. Uh, before we talk about different investing platforms, so that you appreciate what you are doing and be very um, dynamic in your approach so that you can maximize. So now let's look at it. Um, so will I just go and invest in Bitcoin right now? Maybe not, because there will have been better options to make money. So that's where we look at different cryptocurrencies. So let's look at this now. This is a coin, right? So you can see that this coin in the month of August, let me quickly refresh this page. Wow. It's that simplicity. Error is back to one dollar above again. Okay. Uh -huh. That's serious. That's serious. That's serious. That's serious. That is serious. That is serious. Now let's go, everybody. Now, when it comes to investing in crypto, now let me show you this performance from um what is this? Okay, sorry. Okay, so now let's look at, this is a coin. So when you talk about investing in the crypto space, a whole lot of things that most of us don't pay attention to, and that's why we're not getting it right. Uh, I, I often say to some of our people that um, 
it, 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 it's important for you to go out for what you need rather than what you want. Now, this is a token. Many of you are in Plan B platform. So please challenge yourself after this meeting. Many of you are on Plan B platform. We call out coins, and that's where the first place we ask people to start from. How many complain? I do not have enough money, yada, 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 and all of that. Now let's go. Look at this is a coin. In the month of December, the total performance of this coin was about 23%, cent, uh, 23 for the month. That's big. Just to buy it and hold it, and at the end of the month, sell. Now, this is January, perform 304%. February, perform, of course, you know, February was the month that was past, um, uh, massive, all right, 323 at uh, 328. In the month of April, of course, Dow General and Crypto, it was a loss. Now, the month of May, that is buying from beginning of May and ending 12%. This is not a bad deal. So we only have had three good months out of twelve uh, out of nine months we have spent. And look at what happened. On you or very unusual that September should be good for crypto. Yeah, it's very, very unusual. You you hardly have that. Okay, you hardly have that where the uh oh sorry. You hardly had that that um the month. So that's why we ended the quarter, the last quarter in Bitcoin. That's the month, uh, the last, the third quarter in Bitcoin. All right. Look at it. Uh, this is 2024. Uh, so Bitcoin last quarter, uh, we have we ended and in a little negative, in negative positive. So second quarter was not good. But Ethereum both for second quarter and third quarter was bad for it. Now we have started the fourth quarter and so far the performance for Bitcoin and then for Ethereum, okay? So but in, in 2023, last quarter, uh, third quarter was bad for Bitcoin generally, and then bad for Ethereum. So but in the last quarter, we're good. So tentatively too, this were good, okay? All right, so now, why am I showing us all of these things? So that you understand what we are doing per time. That's why beginning of the month is very important to assess and arrange yourself properly. So now look at only last month for this token. And I remember we have called out this token out severally because that's about 95%. Now investing, how does it actually work? Now, that's why you need mentorship. What do I mean by mentorship? Because when you are buying in, there are some you just hold and wait as long as possible. And those ones are better bought in a cycle because what we always say that the best approach to the markets is to number one, understand what we call market cycle. And then when you understand market cycle, then you can follow the performance. And then you are now diversifying. You are spreading yourself to buy and hold and then to buy and swing some time because opportunity can be available when the market is moving up and down. So, of course, when I go to trading, you're going to see this aspect. So that means if you had bought, if you had bought um, Aerodrome, because it came down to about 42 cents. We have bought um, about a thousand aerodrome from the month beginning of September, and then at let's say 42 cents or average of that. Okay. So that means uh if I check my calculator, so at 42 cents, let's even fall it 50 cents. So 50 cents by one thousand that's five hundred dollars. That means right now you will be on a thousand hundred and eighty-four dollars. Now, as an investor, what to do is simple. That oh, this market, this performer. That's why you set up portfolio tracking platform. So every month, or end of the month, I take stock of what happens or on the market if they are going to continue their performance or they are going to take a bow. All right. And then sometimes you find a way to DCA into some of them, okay? And then you now say, okay, if I DCA, let me see what's going to happen as it were. So you will have wish you were much aware of some of these projects when they were early available. But you would definitely don't want to take a stand in because you probably do not even know what you're doing. Because that's why most times people complain of market, crypto is bad because they are doing the wrong thing. 
Okay, so if we look at now, let's take um, an already well established token before now. Let's look at if they can give us data for PopCat. Here is PopCat. Fantastic. So PopCat, so it's a token, uh, it was last year, December, I gave it out. <laughs> so last year, December, in the month of December, it performed 70 something million percent because from the pre sales of the low price, whatever. Now, in the month of January, where all that even performed well, it dipped down because considering the previous move, the February it was 62%. Look at it, in the month of March, that was about 2,500%. That's amazing, right? And then we have month of April was not good, just 2% loss, that's not a bad one. Then May, 6%, the month of uh, June, 21%, and why we have in the month of July, 35%. Then August was not, a, was not it was a bad one. And then we have this September that just finished. Now, let me tell you something. Some tokens at their level, they can be good at a point to just buy a hood because of the time you have chance of entering into them. Then some will be good to be trading them because of volume of move up and down Exactly, pop card. That's exactly what happened. Uh, pop card for the past three or four months. Uh, so somebody who was probably using maybe a boat to trade pop card for the past three months and follow the rules will have made more money than somebody who just bought it last three months and hold. So that's where you need to understand about market cycle. Now look at Solana. So in January was bad. Then but uh, February was a good one. Um, March was a good one. April was a bad one. The month we just finished, Solana just this. Because that was a wave of activities, what Solana have done, right? And these are some of the reviews. So uh, we look at uh, AVAX. So AVAX performance last month was better. But look at it. Three months on the road, AVAX was negative. The beginning of the month, it will go up and those dive back losing all of this. C April was massively down. So Avas performed very well last year, December. Since then, it has not really gotten a good percentage as it were. And so Avas, they have a very good move to go up as much as possible because of what it, where it came down from. So the whole lot of things I would have said, but um, time will not permit. That's why you need more learning. So because an investor, there are things you look out for and then leveraging on opportunity or right information to act as, as fast as possible. Okay, so now let's go investing. So buy and hold coins and all of that are very, very important aspect. So the next much very important, essentially important aspect is taking farming, all right, lending and all the like. Of course, we have we brought out about five platform we gave to some of us to uh, leverage into and all of that. And we didn't even look at other aspects that, because other aspects on the DeFi opportunity uh, may require some kind of monitoring and learning. So that, because like if I ask you now to go into aerodrome farming, uh, radium farming and all of that. So there are, of course, there are basic learning you need to have for, for you to do that another time. But that fantastic platform that can make a lot of money. Okay, so now quickly, um, I'll go back. I think I, there was a token. There's a token I asked us to buy yesterday. Um, Mimi, Mini. I'm not sure Mini, Mimi, and Mini now can be captured because they are just. Uh, let's look at it. Uh, Michi. I think Michi ought to have gone up a little when I asked us to buy. Uh, the other day. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh, wow. Are you serious? So you can see Michi. The month of um, this month we just finished. So it always and it's all. Just hand in hand with arrow. So August was a poor one. Okay, so Michi, you can see when it started. So we only have two bond loss. Uh, Mini was more recent, but uh, it has not been able to do good performance like others. Uh, so Mini, oh, good. Okay, so wow. So the month of July, Mini did very well, right? And then lost two months. And so this last month was good for it for mini okay i think i still have let me check my one of my bottom mini uh sorry
Hmm? Okay, mini. I still have some mini. Oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting. It's still doing its own best. So, mini. And I asked us to buy Michi the other day. Okay. So, and he, of course, if he wants to buy Mini and Michi, I'm not sure they are too bad to buy. All right. Um, so let me quickly go back to somewhere. So let me look at it. Mini. Okay. So I think it was on Sunday. It was on Sunday. I actually asked us to buy. Uh, so Mini Michi. And this other coin, B L U B L U B E something. Sorry. Okay. All right. So uh let's quickly enter into a kind of activity so you uh some of the investment uh platform now i i will i will tell us the essence of diversification and because when it has to do with investing we know that everything in the in the digital space come with their own peculiar uh risk associated all right so like when you buy a coin uh prices fluctuate up and down and then you stake a coin, price it, pricing party uh affect it as it were. So coin gecko. Okay. So there are a few other coins I think I talk on Sunday. This B L E U B something. And I think it has okay, uh, okay. Oh, I forgot this guy, Lubia. Lubia has done well. So I'm sure if you bought that Sunday, uh you should be in profit because Sunday, Sunday was on the 30th or 21st, the 29th or something. So on the 29th, so, so that should be around here. All right, that should be around here. So you should have been in some good profit. That's what it means for the token. And then Mini, Mini and Mimi. So let's look at so I, I, I'm sure many have been going down for a very long time. So uh, I'm not sure it's going to be a bad deal. Uh, buying into it, if you want, anyway. Uh, so uh, Michi too has performed well, but he have good opportunity to grow. Right, okay. All right, so you can see uh, Michi, and you want to buy... Uh, other tokens, and there was a token that I gave to some of us on the private mentorships. These are slow tokens. Okay, let me even take this. BQ, let me go here. BQ, it's, uh, it's not, uh, where are you? Uh, may not have data here. Okay, GQ, sorry. GQ. Oh. That's Blink Galaxy. Perhaps we may not have data for it. See, it's a, it's a degen token. So, all right, so let's leave that. So that's one aspect where we talk about uh, investing. So, and someone want to ask me, how do I go about this? You need an exchange, you need a wallet, okay? Some of them may be listed um, only on exchange. Um, you can buy it on exchange. And then some of them you can now, you want to just buy and hold them. You take them off your exchange to your external wallet. Example. Uh, MetaMask, Trust Wallet, if you want, um, OKS Wallet, 
and all of those um, um, Chrome extension enabled uh, wallets, Phantom, that any like Mini can be stored on your Phantom, Michi can be stored on your Phantom, and all of those things. Okay. Uh, what's this? Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. So, uh, then the next, um, okay, uh, we forgot in this guy, Toshi. I think he, they are they are supposed to be on a very good buy opportunity. Um, Toshi, um, Toshi and uh, Zimuchi or Michi or something. No, not this. Okay, so I uh, think so. So now let's go quickly to some of those investing opportunity to diversify into. Now you heard where we say when you buy into some investing opportunity, what you do is that you leverage on them to when you make some money, you roll out to other opportunities. Having known that investing has to do with short, medium, and long term. And so doing that, sometimes you evaluate your investment after you know some in a month, look at what they are doing and all of that. So when they move up, you and then you see chances of them they are going to retrace. You, if you have the time, you sell to buy back in order to increase it. This is a job you are doing, and but you are more relaxed than somebody who, uh, when we talk about trading. So we talk about five major things. Uh, additional, of course, they were not, um, so we didn't exhaust them. So you need to understand that they were not exhausted. Um, where is this uh, spreadsheet? Okay, if I cannot see them, no problem. So one of it was Tron Lending. And let me show you guys quickly something when I was going through a kind of, um, what I call it, vetting process of on the Tron protocol. Um, and please, as I gave instruction, please don't deposit it. Don't, uh, come on, what's going on? Network. Sorry. Just a moment. Okay, so um, let me show you us here. Don't worry about so you knowledge uh, about this now because if I'm going to like on chain analysis, we look more too technical. So, but what I was doing was that why? Let me explain quickly something to us. Now, this is one of the part of one of the wallet of um, Tron Lending Platform because when I checked uh, part of the the smart contract that distributes um, ending back to us when you click uh, initiate a deposit from your Tron Lending back office. Okay, so I picked it and I was doing a kind of on-chain analysis and I discovered some of the token are locked are still locked into the. Energy staking, many of you uh, not need to go through all this process of how I got to this point. And I saw that, okay, the, some some of the wallets, one of the wallets is this. As at this time, of course, the volume have not grown to this. So what was there was about two, 12, oh, oh, yes. Was there 12? Yeah, 12.6. 12 all right, now it's 12.618. That's 12 million, 618,000. Uh, Tron that is locked on the energy. Uh, so 11.6 million locked into the energy, uh, while 950 locked into the uh, bandwidth, and all of them are checked. Now, this is the point uh, where I could need to explain some of you who are on the Tron lending not to click withdrawal. You can only claim if you are the type that have uh, maybe some kind of reward. Now, when, when an on chain activity is going on, and you have launched a smart contract into the general blockchain, which is just like this, so, right? Then you have an interface. So an interface where users interact with. And those of us who are in computer, we have different softwares. So we have software we call application softwares, and we have software we call system software. Now in system software, this is what enable maybe my own system to interact with a global surface of a system. So for instance, the what make my application to run 
on my desktop, they are system softwares. So which, if I tamper with any of them, my system will my function. Then application software will be like those interface where I want to interact with Microsoft uh, so that I can type word processing and all of that. These are application softwares. Now, what will make my application software function with my system is there's a linkage of my system software. So if my system software is temporarily uh, taken off, so no matter what I am doing, will not be stalled, right? And then I will not be able to have a track of it. So exactly what's happening. So the, the maybe the lending going on, but if you look at the interface of it, we call something API. And so once API is disconnected, no matter what you are doing, because the worst thing that will happen is that you do a transaction that does not land on the protocol for you to see the Explorer. And that's one of the things that uh, you make a withdrawal will not land. Now you deposit. And so if you find another way to deposit in, um, I'm afraid if it will be recorded. So the best you can do is just to wait and uh, once that uh, upgrade is over. So, but by and large, this is another way of um, uh, making money. So, troll lending is, uh, okay, sorry. Okay, so troll lending is a way of generating income, right, for accumulating more volume of your troll as it were. So if you are doing troll lending, that means you are looking for way to increase the volume of troll you have by renting your, um, your troll to the troll energy renting. So, but you have to delegate through, okay? So you are delegating, uh, should be my network something. Okay, let me log in here. Okay. Okay. So you are delegating your token into a platform. And so with that platform, you can get some accrual from your token. I actually want to come up here. Okay, so here, so when is when the portal is now the engage back, these are the places where you can load in the staking volume. So minimum token, you can lock in it about 500 and then maximum. Uh, a slot is about 50,000 token. Then once you can see all the percentages, depending on uh, the tenor you pick, all right? So, but I'm sure the maximum should be about 30% per month of your token lended and all of that. But what I know that this will not continue just like when we're doing uh, stuff like this, radium. When we're doing stuff like this, radium, and you go to liquidity, you see some outrageous kind of percentage that, oh, was it only this one I saw that, uh, just a moment, you can go and see some outrageous percentage of what can be made. Yeah. Uh, I think I saw that on um, Velodrome. Yeah, saw that on Velodrome. I saw a percentage. Aha, uh -huh, thank you. This is SUSD. So I'm not going to go to too much explanation. This is on up, um, opt, uh, what is it called? Op, op, uh, op uh, protocol, right? Look at what is this percentage? <laughs> Look at this percentage. That's about 32,000%, okay? That's about 32,000% reward, APR, 32,000% APR. This one is 2,400 and something. Now, over time, it will be getting drained, right? Little by little by little. Uh, so once we're able to have attracted number of you know, users they want to have into that, they are, okay, look at this one. Can you imagine? This one is o, Op and, and Ethereum. You see this part? Are they mad? <laughs> they are not. Okay, so I'm just showing you guys some things. Now, some of us who are doing DeFi, we know the risk involved, but if I sit down, that's what most time I tell people, if I just sit down, I want to do only on DeFi, crazy money can be made, but 
it will require me to sort lean, check term to see when. See, this is it, 225,488%. See what I've been locked in. So 24 hours average volume, three point something million. Yeah, yes, three point something million. Now, so now that means let's look at it. Uh, let's give me my simulation. Okay, so if I put a thousand dollars here, okay, if I put a thousand dollars here, all right, so on this average now, on this average because of the percentage by the time they take a court, and so they are going to collect big percentage from it, right? Um, uh, will have accrued a lot of money for me, maybe. I uh, give and take you. You're looking at about um eight thousand dollar plus because of when I simulate back here. Why do we do this? We say okay, it can drop over the time. So, but the question, if you ask yourself, is that what if just to end this one for one month? Okay, what if to just end this one for one month? So, if I can end that for one month, so let's don't say that 25,000%. Let's not say that 225,000%. Let's say um, 100,000%. Okay? Let's say 100,000%. Okay? In not, in just that a year or a month. So that means you're going to divide that 100,000% by 12. So if I do that, for instance, I'm going to make so 100,000 you can flop before that time anyway. Divide by 12. <laughs> That's about 8,000%. Okay? So that means it's possible that in that one month or two, you will have done this, what they are telling us here. Oh, sorry. Where is it? Oops. Uh, okay. Am I in Velodrome? No. Okay. So guys, uh, there are things if I show to you on DeFi, uh, you'll be tempted to resign from where you work, but uh, you can be disappointed if you don't know how to follow, okay? So you can imagine if that happens. So sometime in a month or two, you can make huge, then you now need to know when to move away from that because once they attract the number of people they want to attract, so those percentage cannot stay like that. I know many of you don't have not even come here. This is 151,000 percent. So if you can cut it, cut it, let's just see 1,500 percent in a year. So 1,500 percent in a year divided by, so let's say 1,500 percent divided by 12. That's about 125 percent in a, in a month. So and let's say I now do 100 percent this month, 100 percent next month. So a thousand dollars there in two months, I can make additional two thousand dollars. Look at it now. So if that happened, because this is not an unknown coin, right? This is not an unknown coin, all right? So but by the time they attract so much people, all right, then they can stop, uh, bring it down. Look at another one. Ethereum, USDC. Uh, it, do all these things look unrealistic. What, about how many money loaded into it? About $11.4 million loaded into these peers. Okay, I'm not going to go too much on this. Uh, so I'm just showing you there are hidden places people are making crazy money, right? I'm making crazy money. Um, there are softwares I've, I was I'm still test running, and I when I checked what is happening there, uh, though they are crazy things, right? Because they can be very risky, sometime, right? But when you follow up, uh, detailed activities on how this thing will work, you make a lot of money. So that's on DeFi. So we have a lot of DeFi activities. So let me quickly now show. So I talked about the throne lending. The next I will talk about is um, um, this one. What is it? Okay. So let me talk about, I call it salary, salary structure. Because, uh, this is a platform we have invested in for, that should be over two years. Uh, quite unfortunate, everybody, most persons, I saw number of people, multitude of people in Plan B register on that on that platform, okay? That is a Paynet platform. So it's another investing platform where though 
though we were not actually looking at it in, in critically. I remember when we registered at that time, uh, Mr. Splitty had to ask me, how much will I put? And just said, just put any amount, if it's 1,000 or 2,000, just put any amount. And we left it and forget it. Now, literally we know that the project was up and running what they were running. And among all, so the platform seems to be, you know, very powerful, right? Gradually doing what they are doing. So now the aspect of investing on it is you can make average of 9% every month. So one thing is that what you are investing into like is their ecosystem. So they have tokens and it pains me anyway, but uh, it's never late. So they have tokens. And then one of the things I love when the, one of the uh, person as part of the co-founder I was talking said, if you are if you are just looking for coin to speculate and buy low to sell high, that their token pay, net, pay in will not be the token for you because it will be very, very boring. All right? Uh, it will be very, very boring in the sense that it doesn't move that way the way we want it or the way you expect the price to go. Rather, it just go little up, little down, very boring because it's a kind of utility. Right? Uh, so let me quickly come up uh, see this. Okay, so I need to show you guys very fast so I can show you uh, those of you who are new how to trade and all the stuff. Okay. So now if I go to CoinMarketCap or oh, Network. Or if I go to CoinGecko and here is the token. I'm not asking you go and buy the token, but if you want to buy, why not? So, so where we met into about two years ago, the token was about nine, ten cents and was ranging. You can see the way very funny move. And then when I was checking another thing, like look at the token, we didn't know that it was on um uh okay, uh -huh. so let me check something. We didn't know that it was on um what was this? We never knew it was on a uh, uh, Tron protocol. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, so it has even been creating a very stable income too. If you check it, if you go to where I actually check, uh, you know, let's go, let me go back here, sorry. There we go. So look at the performance of the token. Last month, uh, it, it there was no uh, profit, but the loss was not crazy, right? So for for one good year, from December till now, you only have have one month loss, which about uh, so that's two months, zero point eighty one percent and one point zero five percent, if not twenty three percent in in December or 13% in January, 3% in um, February, 4% uh, in um, March, and then in May, 1%, 0 0.4, 0 0.13. So it was August. Look at August, almighty August that. So this month, crypto generally lost massively. And look at what the percentage loss of its own. Now, this month, crazy loss. If you check every other coin, you see loss. Then, it was 34%. Now I'm not asking you that maybe you are buying this to trade. I'm just using you how some of those utility tokens actually behave, All right? Because if you use that same thing and check Tron, TRX, and you're gonna see similar move. Look at chart of TRX, and then look at it, okay. Our TRX even record some losses, but not too bogus like others. This is 6%, this is 2%, this is 12%. This one percent last month, but look at the consistency and all of that. Now, so the best with some of those type of token is that those tokens are, are held for transactional value, and they will not have crazy growth like that as probably people expect it to be. Um, now, when I went on another, you know, kind of activities I was doing 
on Tron protocol, that is on Tron scan, which is uh, Explorer, was that I was checking on top token um, or contract. Yeah, so blockchain and then contract. And I saw that because of transactional value, so of course USD is the major on Tron protocol, which recording 96% contract activities on Tron protocol. Look at it. Every other thing everyone is doing, even swapping or some pump and all of that, recorded one point something percent. Wow, wow, wow. So there's a massive, What this is what I use in checking, you know, activities of people on Paynet. Before it was numbers, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are recognized smart contract platform on Tron protocol. And so, of course, USDT, then SunPump itself, uh, SunPump swap. You see why these SunPump swap are taking over instead of SunSwap? Because there's SunPump swap, there's SunSwap. So SunPump swap because of the meme coin that just came, and so there's massive transactional activities. So Payner was, this is one, two, three, four, five. So was number five. And of course, now just lending have been for a very long time, but you see now, Everything about crypto is about community and activities. But we say blockchain, the cryptography, which is the science, and the economy. So the economy activities people are doing on uh, Paynet was high. Okay? And that's why you could have uh, what we're having now. So let me just go here. This network is must be. Okay, so now the best we have enjoyed on the platform, even though they have introduced and launched a lot of things like booking uh, portal, and then everything they are doing on their portal, you have to use the Paynet coin. So now let me quickly just see if I can log into, I don't know why my network is misbehaving. Okay, so sorry, I'm coming. Let me quickly log in, show you. Okay. So when I listen to a lot of people and say, oh, I say, no, we have a lot of things or system to make money in crypto. But what people are looking for is the hit and run. I want to just get it now. And the way you're telling people spread your tentacle, diversify, uh, people hardly love to hear that because they feel that you are slowing them down. So and which is not okay okay so now uh let's go here okay so let me show you so now this is it so if you look at they have a portal or a, a kind of platform where you could trade right you can trade this is like uh, I can log in here, so where you can trade and they, they give a lot of vision of what they want to do. A time could come you can trade stock and all of that. You can see those take on their you know platform stuff like that and all the like. Right now that is FMCP. Of course the token two is in the market, right? The token two is in the market. That's if we look at it. FMC, sorry. So it's in the market equally. And if you see, of course, the own growth too is not crazy, right? So now this is one aspect and so many other things they are doing. That's not the issue. Then they had another portal. Uh, where is this? I think I was, I was going through to understand it. So like a booking site where everything you want to do, if you want to book a site, want to have flight, 
uh, hotel reservations and all the like. Um, so let's say uh, search. Okay. Mm, to log in. Sorry. Okay, that's just one of it um, because you want to book fly, you want to book hotel, and then you um make use can make use of their payment token, all right? And so creating just utility for their act tokens and all the like. So, but my own is okay, what am I doing there? I'm investing to make money. And so how and I'll go to the staking and you're able to do right. You're able to do this, all right? You have staking, maximum is $9,000 at $3,000, but you can do multiple. And then this can, your staking period will be for 23.33 months. That's approximately for 24 months. That's about two years. You're getting paid average of 9% every day, not in the token, but you withdraw in the token because it's your USD you locked. And so there are so many things I think I've done video about that. And so when that is done, if I, for instance, if I want to buy, I click here and then deposit in. in. Uh, I, I think it was me and Mr. Spisty when we did, we didn't know. Oh my God. We didn't know that some of the packages we did had even, uh, we're just making money without knowing, okay? And then we know what we have done. So, uh, one thousand dollars average of seven percent every month. So that means if I'm if I have one thousand dollars, I can make about seventy dollars every blessed month for uh the next thirty months. All right. So in the next thirty months, uh, I'm expected to have had inclusive of my capital about three hundred and ten percent, which means about three thousand hundred dollars. Yeah, something like that. So if you look at if you click it. Right, I think about uh, so for three thousand dollars cumulative, because after the ending, I make advertise return, I should have able to make about six thousand. So that's two hundred and seventy dollars every month, and that's about eight nine dollar every day, and all of that. So you're getting paid, and so when you do that, you can always uh remove the money into the payment token, and then withdraw to your uh FMCP and once it's withdrawn to your FMCP you can now convert it because uh let me look at it I think the FMCP if I log in here now you see example I've done uh some of those money that I just saw I didn't know that was going on let's see this okay so now I call this one salary. And then for some persons who you are looking for passive opportunity. So remember what we do with spread tentacle, we diversify. All right. Uh, three, seven, six, something like that. Nine, seven. Okay. So if we look at it, this is FMCP, right? Um So I can withdraw in money to it, right? I withdraw in money to my FMCP. Uh, okay. And then you can see example, and that money can be withdrawn to it and then, you know, converted to USDT. So look at example, I think uh, some of the accounts, I don't, I don't normally have time to go there. And so when I go there just to scoop, maybe what some account have stayed for, like maybe one month, some I forget maybe like three months, or some I forget uh two months and all of that. Like the other account we did, I forgot it for almost two years. Okay, all right. So for this one, so what I then did was to create what I then did was to create more accounts, you know. So I have to create more three 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 thousand dollars accounts that okay, I know that okay, if I have like four accounts. That's 3,000 times four. That's even least to what a lot of people are doing. So I say, okay, $12,000. So $270 every month, $270 multiplied by four. 
So that uh, $270 multiplied by four, that's about $1,080. So $1,080, if you go to Nigerian currency, let's say at 1,600 Naira, that's about 1.7 million Naira and all of that. So, so that means continually that way. And so until when the contract expires, so you can take out the capital and all of that. So let's quickly go. The next is to be uh, Ubitex. I don't think I need to waste too much time on Ubitex. I only told us, I don't know how much the token is done. Let's quickly look at the token. Because I knew that I told a lot of people buy the token uh, before even anything happened. So immediately I got involved. And that's my usual way. Okay. Of course, market is stunted now. So my next target to sell part of the token I have on this coin is at $5. Now, the question you asked me fairly, what if you didn't get there? No problem. These are projections. So what I projected was... When I bought it at 65 cents and some people bought at 90 cents, uh, quite unfortunately, I didn't even buy on time. People have bought at 10 cents, 20 cents. So I then say, okay, my own target is once you get to, I set my prices on the on the MS platform. All right. I set my prices on MS platform. When you get to $2, sell this portion. When you get to $5, sell this portion. When you get to $10, sell this portion. Now, in reality, what I use in buying the coin, by the time you know, it sell this and maybe sell the next bag. I will have made the money, you know, maybe times two or times three and even make the money I invested. Let's say $5,000 is projected into the market and then $3,000 was invested and $2,000 was used to buy the coin. At the end of the day, what I use to buy the coin will have taken out both my capital of what I use to buy the coin and the capital that was locked in to their platform. So Ubitex platform, yeah, so... What you invest, you can make average of the down. This is what I always do. No matter what a platform is, once it has accrued enough for me to have some uh, return, I take it out. And that's what the language I was speaking here, that is spreading to other uh, potential yield platform. Okay, uh, the bunk tool now is jacking up. All right, because this gives you, uh, I just hope I could have this. So Ubitest give you opportunity of say uh, zero point five percent daily zero point this. Now the question I uh, what I always my own speculations is this. I said this percentage cannot continue. We need to know that number two, the staking may not even continue to, except and if they were actually not are uh, doing what I thought you know which are permutation and marketing strategy. You want to attract a lot of people into your platform. You do a lot of things that appeal to people. And that's what like Binance always do those days. Anything we are doing outside, farming, staking, and all, you discover that this money people are taking outside, bring it to my ecosystem. And that's why all of those things were, you know, combined on the group there. So this is one of the reasons. So I said, okay, maybe after some time, the percentage, like 90 days percentage, which is 255.5 APR, meaning if you stake for 90 days, what you'll be making is going to be 255.5 divided by 12. That means you are making about 21 point something percent every month. So divide by 30 days, that means you are making 0.7 percent every day. So now for that three months, 21 point something, let's call it 21 percent multiplied by three. So you are going to make 63% for that night day. That's what it means. That doesn't, it's not saying, oh, you are going to make 255% after the 90 days. No, it means you are on the percentage rating of 255 per annum. Okay. So now um, it's very simple. Maybe when somebody registered, they want to deposit uh, because this thing is getting longer. So you want to deposit, you can deposit. And then, uh, okay, let me see if I can find any account to log into, if it's possible. So, but the minimum you can invest here is uh, about $100 or something. Okay, so this is, uh, which one can I log into? Can I even remember? Uh, okay. The cottage. If I can remember this one, 
Sorry. So, but understand that all of these things I have, like I've told you, once, once I, once I have, because the another permutation they are doing is that even when you make the money, uh, they don't want you to take it, okay? Because they want to keep, uh, um, you know, making their platform big and all the like. So, but me. I'm an investor, uh, I need my money, right? And so I need my money to regenerate more money. So what they now did was that, okay, whatever thing you are making, if you just leave it in the platform there, you're gonna be having a kind of rebate for having it just like what you are making, you're gonna have it like a rebate. Let me just see if I can see an account to log into. Sorry, uh, most of these things, once I do it, I set my template of when I'm going to do anything on them. So. That's more reason why I probably don't even remember. Okay. Okay, I think I've seen an account to log into. So come in, let me show you guys. Then we'll now go to maybe second to the last and then I'll show you some. Those of you who are new, you don't know how to trade, Uh, how to, because I think, okay, so now this is the platform for instance, 255%. And all of that. So if uh, if you come here now, and you click here, all right, and probably if you click on trade, that means you can trade. I've used their platform, my e experiment of future trading, spot trading, and all the like. Maybe that's what I'm even going to use for you guys, uh, right now for you know example of trading and all the like. So now, so I think I experimented trading on need some time, right? I did that. Now. Can trade futures, okay. You can trade futures, you can trade spot. So, what I traded there was futures, and now, so if you go to spot, you know, there are tokens UB, okay. So, you will have wanted or imagine that you were there earlier to have bought, you know, the token as cheap as this, even at two dollar was still good, right? So, but you can see that this is like in normal, in normal trading activities. This chart is abnormal, right? Okay, so uh, just need to pull back going up, and that's what my target five dollars is my first major uh contention that we should have a massive pullback eventually. But we probably will not have that now because the hype and the narrative is still very, very hard. And how why? So if I go to asset, for instance, and probably go to N account, right. So what you are expected to do is that you should deposit in money. Minimum is $100. So just try to. So they expect you to go here, go here. So that means you are going to first of all deposit money into your uh, spot. And then what to do, having deposit the money, is to click on transfer. So minimum $101. So that uh, now when you click on transfer, then you come back you know, into that finance and you can see, it says take it. So it's saying this account earned one point nine yesterday, and that's about four point six nine dollars. And it say what this account have earned in total is fifty six point six um stub, right? Uh, maybe stable USB. I don't know what. They, so they know the appellation. So so that's about one thirty eight dollars, right? Now if this is kept there, it can enable you to to still earn. 0.3% retainership on that. But this is what I do. If what you invested was $100 and it was you have been accumulating and the accrua is about 100 or 100 and something dollars, take it out, right? Take that money out to diversify or whichever plan you have for that and then allow the other one to continue to run, okay? So you say this is the hottest. So, but let's say you do for one year or you do for six months, that is 292. So 292 divided by 12, whatever percentage, maybe 25 or 24 point something percent, is what you get every every month and all of that. So once that is done, so assuming you want to stake where you say stake now, so it's going to ask you to put in the amount you want to stake. Let's say it's a thousand dollars, perhaps, right? And then it's already showing you how this is going to be divided, and you click on stake now. That's all, that's all you need. And the most times is the first time you are doing it, it's going to tell you you need to activate this account. Just click and then go ahead 
and then you are done with um staking um so you can equally deposit different coins let me like me uh in my one in my, in my main account what i did was this was to what i did was to i think there was okay uh there was a token i wanted to hold i forgot was it uh trx another one so I just send it in so that that coin is as if logically I'm hiding it. And so whatever accrual I know that I still have. So 40% of that my money is in the token is in the token and 60% is in their UB. So when I'm done, I can take it back out that way and all of that. So that's about this guy. Um uh what's the call about Ubitex and all the like. Then the last before I'll talk about trading is uh Kubitku. Now I did a lot of experiment. But of course, you cannot give a guarantee to stuff that you are not totally in control. Not like I always tell people, if you don't, if you have not heard that before here now, I said, in trading, to be successful, there are three things you must understand and learn. Number one is safe. Number two is money. Number three is the market. Now, there are two things you can control. And that's why you work on controlling and managing these two. First, self, which is you, and that is the psychology. Second, money. So that's risk management. So third, you don't control those. That one is market. You cannot control the market. So all you do is you learn to understand the practice of the market. So once you're able to do that, then you manage your money and then work on you know how to maximize your profit. It's on that note when you are trading, you expected to put in uh, stop losses, all right, um, take profit. You know why? So that you already told yourself, because I always tell people, any trade you enter into and what make you to exit was that the market is about to crash and all of that. Then you are a gambler. Okay? You are a gambler. So you are not trading. So let's quickly look at the you could be cool before I go to trading. Um, and I've told you, all the investing and marketing, I'm doing them together. I'm sorry, Unfortunately, most of those ones I've talked, I didn't talk about the marketing. Now, on the troll lending, if you invest, they pay you some affiliate commission too. They are in line by line like that. You can make a lot of money. So I think that's what I can say. Now, on the paynet, uh, you can make a lot of money too because you refer somebody, they pay you percentage. Uh, that is 5%. Then they run binary and all of that. You can make a lot of money. Uh, then they run... Maybe when you qualify, okay, let me even check something, sorry. Okay, so God, I think this account was supposed to be on a ranking, something like that. Uh, okay, I'm coming. I'll show you guys something now. Let me click on this bonus. Mm, where are you? Sorry. Sorry, just want to bring out something. Oops. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so now let's look at Kubiku. So what I do here is simple. Let me just use this account to explain to you. Uh, there are two things around these guys. You can do what we call 
So if you have your Binance, you can open your Binance, create your Binance or your OKS. Those are the two platforms you can do. Then you click on what we call uh, API banding. So you can see it's only Binance or OKS. So you copy, you go to create your API on Binance. Normally, the way we do on robot, on three commas and all the like, you put it there and then send verification and bind your account. So once that, so the rule is that you must have minimum of $1,500 and you have to come here to buy into their coup because the coup that will enable just like the U-Gas of uh, U-Trading. So you must have the coup and then connect and the trading start. Second, you can do what we call coup trading. So that one, that's what mostly I do on most of those accounts. Now, what is a coup trading? Very simple, right? If you look at it now, this is this. Um, you expect to buy what they call coup for you to trade here. You expect to buy what is called coup for you to trade here. So minimum, I expect anybody to do, if you do anything less than $100, uh, I'm not saying it's not good. That's what you can afford. But you are going to be disturbing yourself every 12 hours to come and reset the coup. But 24 hours is the best for me. And so maybe minimum of $100 and above. So let's say you put $100 and above. Now, immediately you create an account, they are going to give you free coup to experiment 12 hours. So that means any amount can go for 12 hours or what? I don't have that time. So every 12, 24 hours is what I come and just set my time. So now, if you are going to use the coup, so that means the first thing I haven't registered is to click on what we call recharge here. And now if I click on recharge, I can recharge even with Naira, all right? Uh, so Filipinos, uh, Peso, uh, Vietnam, Dunk, and all of those things. So if it's USDT, so clicking or the input in amount. So let's say it's $500 you're putting in, then you put it in, you click on confirm, for instance, look at it, confirm, so that it pop up the wallet address and you copy it and uh, go and send in your money. Now, if this is done, very simple, and the money is already available, so all you do is to come to this coup shop. And this coup shop is where they're going to use. Now click on use. So when you click on use, you're going to put the whole money, right? So if you put the money and then you click, say, click on server. Let's say I pick this and I'll click on create. That's all. I need to be running. Now, one of the things again is that even in this coup, there are still other ways you can do, right? In this coup, there are still other things you can do. If I click on this plus sign now, look at it. It has a smart which is the one we just did. You didn't alter it. Those of you who are using Bybit Boat and all of that, you understand what I'm doing here. Now, if I want to do customize, I can customize, but I think minimum I should have is about $500, right? Then I can customize for 24 hours, for, for 70 hours and all of that, meaning I'm going to set parameter. For instance, if I come here, I put in the amount, for instance, and it's going to say, okay, select strategy. Look at strategy. Trend following strategy, minimum I can select is three, arbitrage or market making strategy, that is smart money. Then momentum strategy, for instance, just like that. Then risk level, the, the riskiest, that is aggressive market is C minus. So aggressive, yeah, aggressive that could see moderate to an extent, moderate B minus. So let's say I'm taking this aggressive that's a little bit moderate to create, create. Now, what's the advantage of this? You can make more and you can you may not even make. Because if the thing didn't meet up with the setup, it will even take trade. But if you meet up with the setup and there's massive activities, you may make more. Sometimes you make less. So to just save myself, you just use the normal uh, the coop and then just follow the normal smartphone instead of the customized. So, but for because of us exploration, you can explore that. Now, if you look at this here, if you go to what we call other law. So you can I can check on how much was made. Look at it. The last setting was two thirty seven dollars, right? Two thirty seven dollars, and what came out was four point four dollars. This one four point one five. There's some time five. Then some time even three. So it's not stable. Now look at it. Let's click here. If I click here, it's going to show me the detail of what was actually traded. Okay. All right. Look at it. Look at it, and that is trading in Bitcoin, EOS, all this one. And then how much was actually made? 6.296 dollar. 
engaging 200 and something dollars. So of course, you know that what they will have to do is cap it. And then fee the charge was $1.8. And that was what, what remained for me was this. All right. So you can check other ones too, the same way. So if, let me go to this one that was $5. So you can imagine when the money was not even up to that, there was a $5 bid somewhere here. Okay. So look at it. Maybe market condition was better off that time. And then how much was it? It was $7.2. And the, the higher the amount, of course, the higher the fee. So two point something dollars was charged, $5 was still gotten. And so, and so one thing is this, all of this. Now, the question you asked me, Felix, what do I do? On the average, when these guys, uh, on the average, maybe it makes 30, 20, uh, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars. So what I told everybody was, oh, once you see that, maybe you invest $500. And after one month, when I check what I made after one month, maybe 50%, that's uh, if I put $1,000, so 50% will be $500. I know it will always switch you to say, okay, let it continue to compound. No, I don't do that. So I can say, okay, the first one month, it has missed something. I will take out some part of the profit, right? Then until maybe follow that way, maybe after my capital and little profit is made, can allow you. Yes, sometimes it can be tempt a temptation of like, or sometime allow you for compound for like one to two months. It will have substantially doubled the money uh, or more, all right? So when I'm taking out profit, I still have more capital than how much was invested. And that will can still go. So for people who refer people to, if you click on invite, uh, so you can click, copy the link. If you look at this account, that means that refer some person, uh, about 10 people, but only five people are active. Now, one of the things is that if you go here, you're going to see that uh, you will say level one, level two, level three, level four, that depending on how number of people you have invited and all of that, you can make commission on what they make. The profit they make from their trading is where you make commission, uh, which can be like passive or uh, residual income in nature, as it were. So, could be cool. So, I won't need to exhaust the other one. So, let me quickly go to trading. I'll show you guys something very, very important, there, especially those of you who are new. So, what am I expected to do to trade? Okay, so let me quickly use, uh, I can quickly use, uh, sorry. Let me quickly use this. Oh, Father, thank you. Let me, sorry, just bring it up so that I can just use any of those exchange. Okay, so now, sorry. So let me just use, um, so I can use the UB text itself or let me use, um, if by bit is opened. Sorry, I'm going to log in to Bybit. Okay. So this is the last bit of it. So now, why am I showing us all of this? So because this is a business, 
and you have to take it as one. Uh, quite unfortunately, when people want to start conventional business, they prepare very well. They pay much attention to learning and all of that. When it comes to online and digital space, they just take it to be anyhow, you know. <laughs> I'll just laugh because this is a space that you're supposed to be more serious with. And then you and then they don't people don't take it serious, and yet they just want the hit and run quickly. Um I had that somebody makes it so I'm on in Shiba for that. I want to make that too in uh, in uh, whatever you know, even Felix, you know. It doesn't really work, work that way. You have to pay attention and don't look at what you achieve. So quickly, let me just, now I'm going to trading. But before that, in going to trading, there are a few things you need. Exchange, all right? So you can write it down if you are new. You need an exchange, right? You need wallet, okay? All of these things are very necessary. Now, outside that, all right, you need to fund your wallet. On a key, you need basic education. So let's look at basic things. Then you need supporting tools for market analysis. Now, supporting tools for market analysis is very simple. So let's look at, um, so you need um, CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, either Forex or stuff. Then you need, um, uh, for Forex, you need, uh, what's it called? Forex Factory because of fundamentals and all the sentiment news and all the like. So let, let me quickly go to those tools. Assuming I want to trade, let me quickly go to those tools. Um, that forest of crypto and all of that. And in those your crypto, you don't need to uh, be like every other person. So you define what type of trading do you want to do now. So now let's say this is coin market cap. So this is coin market cap, like coin gecko and all of that. This is coin market cap. One of the thing, uh, one of the future on coin market cap is that you can. Oh, this guy has moved. Okay. So one of the thing in in coin market cap is this. Now, it can just show you what we call fear and greed index, now, which is sentiment. And like fundamental, you want to look at, okay, what's the potential of the market? Where is it going and all of that? So now it gives you fear, uh, greed and fear index. So maybe when the market is so extremely sold and we are here, you want to see more fear. Now, like now, we're in between. So, but we are less than 50%. So you want to see it come down. That's okay. Extreme fear in the market, you are careful and uh, looking at ah, the whole market is bullish. That means um, you should be thinking of a lot of people taking profit massively or even some major guys in the market who manipulate the market. All right. So the next, of course, you need you need to have trading view. In my trading view, I have different strategy I use. But first of all is that in my trading view, I always tell people one first thing you must do in your trading view is that you have picked some instrument. Let's take Bitcoin that you want to be trading regularly, right? If it's Bitcoin, you want to actually focus on to trade regularly. But of course, I gave PopCard to a lot of people, right? That because PopCard was printing money. Every time it was printing money. So now that means, because if you look at it, so that means on my trading view, I need to have daily time mark out. Probably like, you know, do what we call key level marking on weekly and daily to just have it. If it's a token or instrument, that is forex, you regularly trade and all of that. Hmm. Like you can see my Euro USD dump good. Absolutely. Because I expect that I say once it's unable to make it here, you see this is my black line, man. So I'm sure well, probably this Banga is inside oil already. So that means coming down here. Once you break this, then we are selling down to this place. It may not be one day, so that's that's what you need to understand, and that's why sometimes some of us don't pay attention to detail. Now, is it when the market start moving that I should be doing this? No, I've marked it, and I'm expecting when the market get to this point. This is what I expect it to do. These are multiple rejection. This is multiple weeks, and I know that I've told us. I said this guy DSY, he should first come down, and then before taking up, it has been suffering. Now it's broken out, but yet that is not just like a confirmation. It has a war to fight here. But even this one has pumped money for you, crazy money for you. All right. From yesterday to today, it has pumped up and pumped out crazy money. So, but here is another rejection. You know, see, this is a rejection, fake out, fake out, and another point here. So here, you need to violently break and retest this point. And now back to here will not be difficult then. We are bullish. But getting up here, that means if I'm trading euro now, I should be looking at DXY that, okay, if DXY gone here and get rejected, 
if I short my euro, I should be careful of what happened. Because, but even before then, I should have made a lot of profit. If I go to four hours now, you know that this is already plenty money for anyone who probably was in that trade. All right. So now this is trading view. Well, I'm not going to go to detail about that, but I think most of the time I do in our market daily review and all of that. So go to was pumping because it has been dumping the other time and look at it. It got a very nice support here. I expect it to return back here, but this support was recognized. And then this is a bounce. Then you see gold still pumping. So that means if you're able to take out this premium, then gold is going to go massively more up as it were. Okay. So I'm just doing all of these things. So now, and I have a lot of supporting tools. And that's why I say, as a beginner, don't mind anybody who tells you, oh, I uh, don't use technical analysis uh, indicator. Uh, it, uh, so just understand what you want. But one thing is that understand market cycle and understand price action. Then understand market structure. Market cycle, that's when the market has ended the journey and understand the structure and understand the price action, which has to do with can do chart pattern to understand those interpret. You don't need to cram them, but just need to know how they work and then be aware of them and then you use them. So I have different tools that I can use to enter market, even a dummy. So when you understand the market cycle and all of that, working with those tools will be very simple for the person. So I have a lot of strategy. I mean, uh, over, over strategy, and you can, can even disturb me, all right? These are different tools. So not that if I didn't put them, I cannot be able to trade, but it is my work because I have a lot of things to do. Exactly when you are, you know, maybe you are, um, maybe you trade, you know, you invest and all of that. So either in stock, in Forex, in crypto and all of that. So this is another style. This is another style, right? Okay, this is another style, okay? All right, this is another style to manage trade this is another style okay so but i'm going to go to show you a kind of example of a trade now this is another style okay this is another style just to uh probably you know guide you through or uh, put you on the you know just to make you on it in charge all right this is um uh, gold so i'm going to go to look at it now so this is another style. Now this one too is another style. Massive. Oh, massive. Yeah, I knew it. All right. Now, so when you begin to understand market structure, price actions, and then chart pattern in price action and all of that. So this is a double top, but not all the time the double top play out. But there are things that you will check now. Those of you who have been trading, if you look at this my chart, you know what has happened. Because yesterday I actually sold out from here. Not just because of this prime indicator, but there are things I've marked. So it's not an indicator that marked this thing. Look at the previous high. And it was taken out, and I expect it, okay, as it was taken out, because it was a new day. And then here, we have this. First, in that first day, we sold down. And then fantastic rebound. And I expect it to take out this. Took it out, return back again. I expect a kind of what we call change, or change of character or whatever. And then it bounce and fake out again. And that was a massive sell. That's why you have this massive sell. And then you have this one, struggle buying, continue. So I expect after here, there's a return. Then I expect this. This was taken out. And this is the result of it and all of that. So within two days, within two days, only trading this instrument, this is sell. This is a buy uh, within that hour. And then this is a sell. In a day, one, two, three positions. Got it. Close. Now, another day. So that's why sometimes I say, if you are a day trader, pick one or two instruments. Follow them very well, and then you'll be able to do well. So looking at Bitcoin itself to the same pattern, but the movement was not as glorious as the other one. But PopCat was a massive one. Can you see? So I saw that yesterday on, on PopCat, even in the night and all of that. That's when I have to take some entry. Now, so let's quickly look at it. Then, um, okay, I think I'm still on position on Harvest. So let me look at it. Now, so I'm going to go to exchange where you trade and another example for, for Forex and all of that. So now when you are trading, okay, this guy now. So let's go to the exchange. So buy bits. So I'm going to go to buy bits. Very simple. And I'm going to give you one simple rule. You probably don't know 
uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I don't have enough time. Um, I'm struggling to understand. It's not difficult to understand. So let's go. How do I trade? It does sport, future, whatever. So let's look at sport. So this is Bybit, for instance. Of course, you need to know how to learn to de deposit money. So taking it simple, you need to know how to deposit money. And then once you have deposited money, you go to your spot. So I think I'll do a separate video for this so that uh, this I need to close on time. Right? That's why I told you people from the beginning that today, in this my class is for training, not just to talk. All right? Or show you something is for training because I want people to, to learn and understand. Okay, so now let's go. Uh, what's going on? So I want to trade. This is buy bits. I'll be done with my time. If I be this wasting our time, let's look at Magus. I'm bluffing. I just hope I can remember. Okay. Let's look at it. Okay, I hope I'll be able to log in. Ah, <laughs> invalid. Okay. But I don't know what Bybit is doing, wasting our time. So now, look at it. So, uh, zoom in and I want to trade. Here is it. But this one is showing us future. So, nevertheless, let me just show you guys. So, whichever one is showing to us, no problem. So now, assuming I want to trade. So, let's quickly look at. So, which coin, uh, perhaps, sometime, if I don't know what coin to trade. Another thing you can do, you can go to CoinGecko. You come, right? If you come, you go to CoinGecko. You don't know what the coin to trade. You go to CoinGecko, for instance. And you go to last seven days. All right, you click on last seven days. So look at last seven days. So bonk has been pumping for the last seven days. Uh, so even Pepe, wow. Even dog with heart. Say these are the guys that have been pumping last seven days, 42%, 35%, all of this. So sometimes I want to look at them, a coin that have been pumping for the last seven days, then we're supposed to start having a retracement. So now let's go. I will now go to my Marges. Uh, just a moment, guys. Okay, so now let me look at it. So since this coin has been pumping for the past how many days? So let, let's look at it. I'm going to look at search for the coin now. So let me go to search for bonk. I hope they will have bonk. They're supposed to have bonk. So I want to sell bonk. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Okay, so bonk. So here is bonk. This is one minute, no? So let me go to 15 minutes or five minutes sometime. So let's open the chart properly. So because that's what you are doing, you try to see. So bonk has been nicely pumping up. Uh, let me cut one hour. Can see why you need your trading view, and it has not even rested. I just want to experiment your trading for you guys. Uh, bonk. I think you want to display because it has been forgotten for a very long time. So, bonk may want to perform wonders too.
bank we want to perform very big one. So I need to check because I'm coming at the middle of nowhere now. Okay, so let me look at, so let me look at weave, okay? Let me look at weave. Because the energy in bank is, I think, is still crazy, right? So let me look at weave if they have here. Weave. Fortunately, if it's not here. So let me look at if Bybit is open now. But what's the problem? Okay. Uh, there were three of them we, we were checking. Pepe. Okay, so let's look at Pepe, if they have Pepe. Let's look at Pepe. So here is Pepe, right? So let's look at Pepe. Okay, so look at Pepe. Uh, let's look at the chart properly. Okay, so Pepe. Yeah, I mean, I don't have time to do all the detail I will have done for you guys here. It's just to experiment a trade for you. All right. So this is a high. And this is a low. Right, this is a high. So now, let's see. Uh, I just want to look at something very fast um, so that I can take a trick. Okay, this is a this is a doji candle form now. Uh, apart from just looking at this market structure, I want to use chart pattern now to enter. So the rule is that I want this doji, right, because it's at the top of the market. I want this doji to create this candle and close. Oh, this is one hour. It's too long. Uh, to close... Uh, this candle should be below this doji. So let me look at 15 minutes. Don't worry, I'm going to short anyway. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. So back to this point. Or oh, yeah, or oh, back to this other block. So now let's go. So I'm going to short uh, Pepe to just experiment for you. Uh, no time to explain why do I need to go to that extent, checking all those things. So now, for instance, now look at the rule. I always say for beginner, when you are doing future trading, first, don't use high leverage. And as a beginner, use isolated so that you expose literally two of your money to the market. So that means first go here and when say margin mode, not cross, but isolated and you pick it. You know you are a beginner. Maximum I recommend for you is 5x. So I change this one to 5 and I click confirm. Very good. Now, so I'm going to trade now. So my asset, how much out of my portfolio do I want to use? Maybe 25%. But I'm going to tell you, why do I need to use 25%? Okay, there are a reason you will use that. There are a reason you should not use that. So you don't just use random. So I'm using 50%. So I'm shorting. Now, now I've, so I use market order to short now. So I've short the market, all right? I've shot the market already, and I'm on negative of 0.25% loss. Now, tell me what I need to do now. So I've shot the market. Let's look at it here. You can see my entry, and the market jump above my entry already, but don't mind. It's going to sell, okay? Uh, so now, so let me quickly now go and do something. See what I did? You know, I told you you have to change... Maybe maybe you should have traded before and this one was on 30 or 20. And I say as a beginner, be careful on the leverage you use. Use small leverage. So now the next you want to do is that you want to see point to point of where you expect market to draw down to as it were. Not just guessing, but in reality to check with your market structure. That's why I say you need your trading view. So I'm going to look at, okay, let, I'm going to take the profit at um, 1.05, 1.05, 219 okay something like that so now you know you have entered the market already so you have to look at where to edit the whole stuff and where am i going to edit it t 
take profit and stop loss. This is TP and SL. So I'm going to click on add. So in some of your market, you just say TP and uh, SL. You may not click on add, but just click on that icon itself. So I'm looking at TP. I said I'm going to take TP here, right? One point. So let's just 1.05572. Okay. One point. So here, price. Okay. So I'm going to take profit. Entire, not partial. Okay. So one point zero five five seven two. That's where I'm going to take profit. So I click take profit. Makes sense, right? Then I go back again, stop loss. So stop loss is what I need to add now. So stop loss, of course, above the entry point. So remember, I'm not doing detailed analysis. So, but this is a high that's creating this low now. So above this point, which you are not justified because that's where you need to now learn risk management, risk reward issue, and all of that. So one point, one point one two five. Let's just say one point. Let's just say one point one two seven. Okay, one point one two seven. So let's go. 1.127, okay? So I'm gonna to go to that uh, stop loss. So that place we add, look at the stop loss below. I click it, this is stop loss, okay? You say add stop loss, I say yes. Uh, at what price? 1.127, something like that. So let's just put it that way. Okay, and I click confirm. You know why I'm taking stop loss above the point of entry is because we are selling. If it's we are buying, the stop loss will be below the entry. And so if you look at it now, it's already running, right? So look at it. It's already running. So 1.42% and all of that. So that's how you buy or short. That's how you short or long. And so in the case of spot, it's just that here you don't do spot. This is purely futures. If not, I need to do how to buy low and sell high for you guys and all of that. So, but this is, so basically as a beginner into like future, you have to take a very small um, leverage. Don't mind when you see some people, their money they are making. I'm sure sometimes uh, you will see that will post 100%, 200%. Say, hey, ah, these people are using uh, 50X, uh, 100X, let me use 50X. No, don't do that. Be gradual, one step at a time. You can now build up. And then, so other thing you can now do, you know, using the boat to trade. Now you can see the trade is running, right? Now you ask me now, fellas, how do you select this coin? I told you that sometimes you don't even know what coin to trade. Come to Coin Gecko. Come and then, so on your Coin Gecko or Coin Market Cap, click on seven days. Sometimes you can click on 24 hours. So, but look at it. This is 24 hours. This is seven days. So if you click on seven days, which market had been running up? For the past seven days so if the market is going to crash or so you now go and check at what point is the coin now so if i click back again let's see those ones that have been at loss for the past seven days are they so massive they are not so massive so imagine you see a very massive one for instance you want to go and look that coin look at celestia look at this so now if i go to celestia uh that is if they will have that is tier guys we're already in four percent profit now four percent profit that's we use 5x. So if it's my normal trade, I use 10x, uh, 10x, 20x, but I don't encourage new, new for my or beginners. Okay. Where do we take our stop law? We can't find okay. This guy normally don't even show it. Okay. So we are in four point something percent already. So now um we said tier. I hope they have so because you know this is a new exchange. Tier, they don't have. So it is other platform probably that will have. That is, if I go now, let's look at on my trading view, and I want to check it here. Okay, look at the coin I just shot now. Let me open. You see one of my instruments is already, one of my instruments indicated that uh, the market was supposed to be selling. Even I didn't know. Anyway, so look at it. So one of my instruments, so you just need to leverage on it. So you can see now, though, so how this was, uh, a high and then so the market was rejected so looking at this point of interest so i'm not going to do too much detail analysis on it but i've checked the market was already kind of good trading for some time now let me go to tier i just pick up 
Remember, I'm not doing any detailed technical analysis here, okay? And if I'm doing, I love to take it simple so that I won't complicate issues for myself, okay? So tier so, oh, tier is still selling, right? So that means coming back to take this low. After taking it, then we're likely going to see, because tier have been selling since. It's now time to like, to rise up and then pulling back to take, <clears throat> probably return back to rate of interest. So forget those jargon anyway. Now, another thing I will just show to you, very simple, is that you may need to have a kind of supporting tools to help yourself. Okay, you can see the tier is selling down massively. Uh, which one do we enter? Pepe. It was Pepe we enter, right? Pepe. Yeah. Was it Pepe? Yeah, it was Pepe, something like that. Okay, so you can see it's selling. So if I go back to check my trade down, I should be on more profit. Okay, almost 5%. Okay. Almost five percent. I think it was paper we enter. Yeah, I remember. So now that's for um so other thing you probably want to do is this very simple. And if you have your trading view, um as a beginner, supporting tools that can help you are this, like MACD and probably moving average. And there's a moving average setting I normally do. I'm gonna show you now. It's a cheap, it's a it's a cheap sheet that can help you too. Sometimes you just want to take things simple while learning, okay? So now let's go, let's do this. So we're already, our trade is running, right? We are in, okay, we were in 5% just down, but we're returning back because it's a little pullback that happened. So now, now I can add two indicator here. First is MACD. It helps you to find momentum in the market. Okay, it helps you to find momentum in the market. Look at it, look at the MACD. Although volume was so scanty here. So the MACD was already showing you. Uh, if you look at it, if we open, let's open it higher, wider. You see your MACD? So your MACD was already showing. Now, and if you look at it, if I set it, MACD was already selling while this was still buying. This is like a bearish divergence. Don't bother about those English. So, but look at it, look at your MACD crosses. But there are other new things you still need to know when you understand the market properly, right? So that when your indicator are directing you to, you can align with what you know, okay? So because if you look at it now, price action, this is the, uh, then this is like one uh, N, one, two, three, return pattern. One, two, and three, break, retest, and then you are buying, right? So that is to say, this is a low, the lowest, that's a lower low, and the high was created here. And this low was created. This low, whatever low created after the previous low, make the previous low stronger. Whatever high created after the first high, make the previous high stronger. You get it, you get it now? So this will happen. So sometimes you expect when you come, so I trade what you call support and resistance strategy most times. So for instance, when the market came down here, so I mark this point. Okay, so let me change this color to white. So I mark this point, right, as a kind of what support. So see what I expect to happen in the market. Now, since I mark here support, I expect the market to three things it should do. One, as it move up, I'm waiting. So I expect a pullback to break this and take liquidity. That's one. If you take liquidity, that is when it go up here. Because this, when it was here, when it was here and go up here, you expected that the market should bounce and then here it broke this. So I expect it to break and return, return back to this range. If it does that, and I'm I'm going to go in lower time frame to see uh a price action. But this time around, second I expect is that it should come down and maintain the equal high low, which is double bottom, and then break the neckline you are in. Then two, three, to create one to three return pattern. One, two, and three. Breaking the three will make you an entry, and which is like when you break the three. Change of character, all right. We are, we are not seeing the okay. We are not seeing your trade. View, trade, view, trade view. You are not seeing my screen. Trade, view, yeah, the trade you are analyzing. Oh, my goodness, how come? What's going on? Okay, sorry. Let me. 
Well, I thought it was visible. So why made it not visible? Are you sure it's not your own system? How many of us could confirm that while I was talking, we could see the screen? If you could see the screen when I was talking, please just type one, 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 let me know. Uh, however, I will share it right now. So can we all see my screen right now? Can you see my screen, everybody? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, okay. we can see. So can you see, see it now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pardon? Yes, yes. You can, can see, see it. Sir. So all through I was talking, did you people saw the screen? No, it was not showing the movement of the cursor. Okay, but you can see my screen right now. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so now... Ah, the Magex, the, mag the Magex screen, yeah? Yes, yeah, the Magex screen, yeah. Yeah. So, and I said that the market returned back here, and I created support, and so I, I mark it. I say, okay, market return and bounce from here. Market return, break, and return back to the range. Market return and not reaching here to create a kind of wave pattern, which is going to create one, two, three returning pattern. So, and it does that, it did that one, two, three. At the break of three and it tests back to three, that's your entry. But some sniper entry traders, uh, uh, network. <laughs> 